Alright guys, welcome back to Terranigma. We're going to be doing episode 7 today. And on this one, we're going to try to be careful. And try to also not fall in there. Very nice. And we went and made it so the floor would come up like we needed it to. And I don't think there's anything down here, is there? Yep, there is. Awesome. Another area that we need to go to. So let's go ahead and open up this bulb and see what's inside. We got another S bulb, very nice. Oh, this is not going to be cool right here. So we can't take out these boulders yet. They're actually uh, monsters. We need a uh, better weapon. That crystal spear is not going to help us with these enemies. But that's okay. We're going to try to head in here now and see if there's anything in here. I think there is an uh, enemy or two in here. Yep, there's a demon. Go ahead and take out these demon guys. Which, if I'm saying the names wrong, I'll try to correct myself in the next episode, because I'm still remembering all the names for some of these characters, so there are going to be some enemies that I'm going to remember, and then some I'm not going to be able to remember. So if you guys need to, I'll also go ahead and post a uh, description of all the enemies that we're running into uh, in the description below. I have a little... Uh, Thing, thanks actually to my own girlfriend who actually gave me the, uh, it's not a wiki, but it's a, uh, thing to help us out with for all the enemy names and everything, so if you guys want to, you're more than welcome to check that out as well whenever we put it up, and without having to run into those demons like I was and just missing them like crazy, and come on over here, come on over here you fish, jump out of that water, there you go. Jump out of that water. Alright, good job. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought for sure I was going to make that jump. Oh, that one time I did. Wow. I didn't think I was going to make that. Let's get rid of you. And let's get rid of you, too. There we go. I don't think we can go over there yet. Nope, we can't yet. It's okay. We can just jump back around. I honestly didn't think that you could jump that high. Or over that far. I honestly didn't. Like, I had no idea that you could do that. So I think we're going... Yep, we're going in the right direction now. Aw, oh, I thought I would take them both out. There we go. Very nice. Took him out, and we're at a thousand already. Very nice. A thousand gems. Took you out. Come on. Come on over here. Those things are ugly, man. I'm not gonna lie. They are ugly as anything. Plus, I hate these bulbs. We're not the bulbs, but the flowers that keep spinning these flamethrowers and everything. They're annoying as anything. Oh god, especially where I'm at right now. I gotta get rid of them. Or I'm gonna get hit hard. Alright. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And then get rid of you. There we go. So now let's go ahead and head in deeper into the cave. Alright, took him out. Alright, took that one out too. Very nice. What could be in here? A medium bulb. I think I'll go ahead and use that now, actually. So we have three of them. Go ahead and use that and get our strength back up. And what could be in these other two? Got a life potion. That'll help us. Then we have a P-Cure, which I believe that's for, uh, like, statuses and stuff like say if you get paralyzed or anything like that you can use it on that and that'll help them and very nice we took that one out Aw, I thought you could be able to hit them from there sometimes there used to be games like that that you could be able to hit them even though they were on another level higher than you apparently not with this game though that's all right though oh take them both out that's all right we got close hey 
We got close. That's better than nothing. Whoa! That was a little too close for comfort. Get rid of these before they start really firing. There we go. Alright, let's move this rock out of the way. Awesome. I think there's something down here. Oh, I didn't think he was opened. That must have been a real bad glitch. Either that or just plain luck. Come on, get over here. Get over here. There we go. Like, get over here! Like that old scorpion thing from Mortal Kombat. Like, come here! Get over here! Alright, good job. Good job. Come on over here. There we go. Nice job. Okay, and you want to be very careful right here, because this is actually, I believe, a spot where we need to head to next. Alright, and there's our spirit. We need to follow it. And alright, where are we going now? Oh, we're going down even deeper. This is starting to get really exciting. Man, this hole is deep. Well, then again, we're in... A resurrected Earth, I guess. I guess we're on Earth. I mean, I honestly don't know. I mean, we could be somewhere else and I would not know at all. So we have water! So water is being made at least. That's good. Thank you for saving me. The surface is ruined, but deep under, recovery is taking place. That plant serves as ideal flippers. Take it with you. Giant leaves. And now, guys, because of this, we will now be able to swim. Oh, boy, it's Yumi! Ark, so you can't swim? What's it to you? Where I'm from, it's not needed. Yomi, you have about as much tact as I do. I'll say this. There's never a dull moment being around with you. Psh. Well, thank you, Yumi. That's... Yomi, that's very nice of you to say that. Just, just jump all on me, because we're not the ones that have to have swimming and everything, since we're not... we don't have anything like that. Beware, Parasite releases a poison cloud that moment... the moment you enter. So, those clouds that you guys saw in there, we have to avoid those. And nice, we'll go ahead and pick up our magic rock, and now we can go ahead and start swimming now into even that poisonous water. So now we can swim in there. Before we couldn't, now we can. So awesome. So let's go ahead and make our way back up. So we can see that the land is starting to come together. I mean, it's starting to come together. Very slow process, but it's coming together. And it's doing really good so far. I'm very, very impressed. I'm thinking people are starting to be like, Wow, this is actually a lot better game than I thought it was going to be. Or at least for some of y'all that are watching, of course. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump on. And, as I said before, we're now going to be able to swim inside this water. Even though it looks like it's poisonous, uh, somehow we're able to swim in it and it not harm us. Which I'm honestly surprised about, because usually with me, if I see purple water, I'm running. <laughs> I am running if it's purple water. I don't, I don't trust purple water. Then again, Ark... I think he's... he may have tough skin or something, I don't know. Maybe he just has really tough skin. Maybe that's why he's able to swim in this kind of water now. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Come on, Bolt. Ah, Got you that time. Alright, and I got poison. That's not cool. So let's take care of that right now with the P-Cure. Which is for poison, so good. We went ahead and illuminated the poison. And guys, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, continue on on episode 8 with our Let's Play of Terranigma on episode 8. So until then, guys, uh, this has been Tales 86 with Weekly Reviews. So guys, um, I really hope that you guys are enjoying the Let's Play and hope you all stay tuned for the next episode later in the future. So until then, guys, see you later.